Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Coming up to the little town of Laurel, Mississippi. Headed to do a removal. First, I'm going to stop in over at Chick-fil-A and get me some protein. Can't do a good job without some protein. Got to have some something working muscles. Yeah, what better way to have your protein than fried and on some cheap bread? <laughs> Back through and lock the front door. Alright, we got a real real active hive here. Looks like they got one entrance right here where the mortars come out around this deck Thank framing. You for coming yeah. up, Randy. And look, are they oh, yeah. up in the wall there or no they're just in the floor. Just, okay. just thank in goodness, the floor. Just in the floor. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. We ain't gotta cut the wall out, so that's mine are fixing the floor back right there. Under oh, the floor. That's good news. Okay, I got one. You got one? Yeah. Just stick it on there like you want and I'll put it up there. Alright, thank you. Yeah. You want me to put you on the video? You want to. <laughs> Hold your sign. Let me get your sign. Oh, well, this is the new sign. We shut down Sims Realty and now I'm Laurel Hometown Realty. Laurel Hometown Realty uh -huh. and this house is on the market. That's right. You can get it with or without the bees. I'll set it up either way for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So they, they're going in at that deck board upstairs every time they show the house they open up back door and they said the bees just go wild so i kind of got in here looking and they got this styrofoam fake acoustic up over some old sheetrock i pulled a couple pieces of those down this is a old hive location they already chewed all the sheetrock out down to the paper and then you can see the leftovers from wax moth and all that junk so this, this hive right here, it's deeper than it looks because it goes the depth of this, which is about a foot, and then it goes the depth of the wall too. So and plus out here about six, eight inches. So it's probably about 24 to 30 inches long, occupying about Two thirds of a joist space on some looks like 10 inch joists. And so far, they're pretty docile. I'm able to touch the combs and they're moving moving out of the way for me. So I thought it was going to be an aggressive hive. That's what I expected based on what I was told. So I brought a suit just in case, but don't look like I'm going to wear it. Yeah. Yeah, because that ceiling kind of needed a little attention anyway. <laughs> right. All of it does. So this is not something that will have to be repaired immediately. It needs some TLC on it. Yeah. But it, it's a nice neighborhood. Though. We already did a walkthrough on the house because they thought it was in the wall. We went in the front, went to the master bedroom, which is where that's at. Uh, we thought it was in the wall. They thought it was in the wall. And I shot the flare and the floor heat the floor lit up. So I don't know, good and bad. Working overhead's bad, but I don't have to really mess up the living space of the house because it's a half unfinished basement. <laughs> no flooring, mismatched ceiling, all that good stuff. It needs some repairs. So us cutting into this old cheap ceiling materials nothing and you can see where they chewed all the sheetrock out there access shouldn't be too tough hard parts working over the top of this thing and they may have built down in that i'm not sure let me look see now looks like looks like maybe they stop at the top of that I can hear some chewing over in this area. I hope that's not part of the hive. I hope it's just right here, but it could cross joy space. I was just gonna talk about using my smoker inside and I got a call for another removal job. So most of the time I don't like to use my smoker inside, but when you got a house that's been vacant for a good year, I already needs a lot of repairs on it. They're probably gonna have to do some uh, at least a little bit of repairs and paintwork down here 
And, and of course, it's not really in the living area of the house. It's in a basement, so I don't so much mind using smoke in here. So I got my smoker going, and it'll camp out in here with me. Out of the way, because I'm up in a corner here, and if I set it down over here anywhere, it'll just choke me. And I don't need it until I need it, so it'll just sit over here running. It's a shiny new comb in there. This space has been inhabited at least twice by bees, maybe three times. You can see the wax moth scarring in the in the wood. Gonna be some old bits of comb in there, and of course you can see all the wax moth feces, poo. Right now I'm just collecting bees from a mite sample. There's some drone comb right there. That's where I'm trying to take these bees from. It's off this brood comb before I start cutting. Might be easier to try to collect them after I cut some combs out and they're bearding, but I wanna go ahead and get this out of the way. All right, that's two feral colonies in a row. The zero mites. It's a couple little bits of pollen and one piece of trash floating in there. No mites on this one. To answer a question I've been getting lately is no, the bees do not survive. The alcohol wash but you're only sampling a very small fraction of a pretty strong colony and they will recover from that in less than a day that's about uh that's probably two three hundred bees that i sampled right there if they got good brood going on in here they got that many emerging in half a day or less so you're you're setting them back very little with that sample. This is where we are, kind of hill country compared to what you used to see it on my videos, probably. Here, go put a little perspective right here. Front of the house is almost ground level. Back of the house is one story, and it drops off a little further to kind of a natural drain through the neighborhood. Kind of damp land forage. That's all blackberry briars right through there they do pretty well up here got a lot of pines but there's a lot of hardwoods and other stuff that flower it's a bit unusual seems that things are blooming up here before they're blooming down south right now this hive has a pleasant smell to it oh this is brood comb not a lot of honey in there They've done pretty much eaten up what they had stored unless there's some on the on the entrance end of it. So no honey to be kept on this one. There is enough to get a little taste test though. Right there, they're cleaning it up at the top. I don't know how he does it, but Mr. Ed smells a cutout. I mean, you can see I'm only just getting started on this one. He's calling me already. Are you doing a cutout? <laughs> Heck yeah, I'm doing a cutout. It's what I do. Some good brood combs in this one. Hope I can find this queen. I'll have her one way or another, in the vac or in a cage. It's a whole lot of bees and I've been vacuuming for a little while. I gotta get some more combs out of the way though.
smoking them out of the top edge of this comb so I don't crush them when I cut. The less you, cr the less you crush, the less irritable they'll be. They kind of helped me out when they built this because you might not be able to see it from your angle, but they built uh, a different direction starting here. So they, the first ones are all built crossways and then starting right here, they're coming long ways with the joists. So it gives it a natural break for cutout, makes it a little easier. So I'm not having to reach up in there and slice sideways. Carried him over here to the light at the door so I can look for the queen. You may have noticed a couple cones back when I was doing some vacuuming. I got done vacuuming, they got kind of excited, kind of flighty. The temperament didn't change much, but they seemed to seem to sense that something big changed in the hive. And there's times like that where I think maybe I've sucked the queen up in the vac. That ain't always the case, but they they obviously knew there was something different at that point as opposed to any other point during the removal. So they've kind of settled back down a little bit now. Just that one point. There's a there's a Varroa on top of that one right there. That bee right there. there ain't many in here.
Getting close to the end now. I got bees piling up down there where I can barely reach. Stacking these combs on my tailgate for now. Got that 70% off sale going on. Got all these bees from around the area finding this comb. I'm fixing to slow that down a little bit. Got some more vacuuming to do. I'm just waiting till sunset, which is in about 15 minutes. I'm about to pick these up right now though. Done and out. Property owner's gonna do the repairs. I left some cutout combs in a bag in my truck last night. This is what I get into this morning. Oh well, I'll leave the windows down a little bit, they'll fly out. It's the first cap drone brood I've seen this season. Today's February 18th.